Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into AI based personalized recommendations in Excel. We all know how crucial recommendations are in today's data driven world and in this video we are going to explore how you can leverage artificial intelligence to make personalized recommendations right within Excel. But before we get started, I have something special for you. BTNX is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. Whether you are a professional looking to upskill or a student aiming to stay ahead, this workshop is designed for you. The link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you are wasting 95% of your time while you are doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you are not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's jump into the fascinating world of AI based personalized recommendations in Excel. For this video, we are going to use used car price prediction dataset, which is available on Kaggle. So let's see about the dataset. The dataset sourced through web scrapping from well-known US used car marketplace, truecars.com, comprises of six columns that can be future engineered into several more. This dataset is particularly suitable for constructing regression models. Let's see how many columns are there. There are total six columns which include first one is name column, then year column, after that miles column, then color column, then condition column. At the last we are having price column. So let's download this data set and we will import this thing into our excel to import the csv file we have to go to data tab we have to click on get data here we have to select text slash csv here we have to browse the file we have to click on get data we have to click on next then we have to click on load as you can see we got the data so let's see how many rows of data this data set has as you can see we are having total 2840 rows of data through this data, we are going to ask few questions using analyze data feature which is present on Excel. So first of all, I'll tell you the questions. So we are having total six questions which are most common car brands, most common car colors, distribution of cars by years, distribution of cars by miles distribution of cars by price and at the last percentage of cars by condition. So let's use this AI feature which is present on Microsoft Excel. So we can ask questions about our data here. So let's ask our first question. Most common car brands. So here you can see, here we got this recommendation, top 5 in name by cell count. So let's click on insert viewer table. As you can see, here we are having total 5 car brands, which are most common, right, first one. Toyota Corella, then Honda Civic, after that 
Mercedes Benz C class then Toyota Carmi at the last we are having Ford F150 so let's get a pivot chart for that you have to go to pivot table analysis here you will find option for pivot chart just click on it as you can see we got the pivot chart we can change the heading let's keep most common car brands okay now we will move to the next question most common car colors so here you can see we got this recommendation just click on insert pivot table so car has both interior and exterior right so interior some other color will be there exterior some other color will be there so on the top we are having black exterior black interior then white exterior black interior after that gray exterior black interior then silver exterior black interior so at the last we are having white exterior gray interior so most of the cars are of first one black exterior and black interior we can also put a pivot chart for this one also we can also change the chart type by right clicking change chart type we can also select a line chart but it won't suit for this data pie chart so you can customize the chart as your needs now we will move to the next question before that i would like to tell you one important thing ai is rapidly transforming the way we work and make decisions in a short span we have witnessed significant changes jobs being replaced industries evolving the key to staying ahead in this era is not just about adapting to ai it's about mastering it here's a catch ai won't replace you it will replace the person who isn't choosing it to ensure you are not left behind in this wave of change consider joining our two hour microsoft office using ai tools workshop we will equip you with the best ai tools to not only stay relevant but to thrive in your career secure your future enhance your skills and make yourself indispensable click the link in the description to join our workshop now now let's solve our third question which is distribution of cars by years so as you can see we got this option and so let's insert this first pivot chart as you can see in year 2021 we got the most number of cars got distributed now let's move to the next question which is distribution of cars by miles as you can see we got this pivot chart recommended let's click on insert pivot chart as you can see distribution of used cars by miles is huge in this range 8152 miles to 119424 miles this is a huge and now let's move to the next question which is distribution of cars by price as you can see let's insert this chart i have inserted this chart in this sheet so here you can see 
frequency of price as you can see most of the cars lie in this range 15,395 to $20,895 dollars. Now let's move to the last question in this video. Percentage of cars by condition. So let's click on this insert pivot chart. So 55.46 percentage of cars are having no accidents and the only single owner then followed by 15 percent of the cars are having two owners and no accidents reported and uh, you can see remaining percentage one accident reported and one owner 8.31 percentage of cars and that's it for now as we came to the end i encourage you to like this video comment down below with your thoughts and questions share it with your network and most importantly subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative content and of course don't forget to check out the link in the description for our workshop it's time to take your skills to the next level we'll see you there Thank you.